Kwanzaa is important to us first. Let's take them. Umoja unity. It's the first principle. Not by accident. It starts with practicing unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Now, and by extension, then the world also, right? But who can deny the importance of unity as a fundamental principle? To feel at one with and in the world and to begin in your own family and with your own people. And people who don't, know, don't, don't love themselves and their family and their people can't make an argument for loving abstract strangers. Second, self-determination. To define ourselves, name ourselves, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves. It's immoral to deny people the right to define themselves, to name themselves. As we used to say in the movement, enslaved people and pets are named by their masters, but free people name themselves. And third, Ujima, collective working responsibility. This cooperation to, to, to build and maintain our community together and to make our uh, uh, sisters and brothers' problems our problem and to solve them together. Who can deny the importance of that? I could go on down the principles, but you see that Kwanzaa has both a particular message for us, but it has a message also for this country and the world. And certainly if we go uh, down to uh, Ujamaa, which is shared work and wealth, to build and maintain our own stores, uh, shops and other businesses, and to profit from them together, it teaches what? Shared work and wealth. We can't, we can't have such obscene division between those that have and those that have not. Uh, near purpose. Uh, to make our collective vocation, the building and development of our community in order to restore our people to their uh, traditional greatness. Kumba creativity. That's what the uh, sixth principle is. And listen how beautiful it is to do all that we can in the way that we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited. Self-explanatory. And final, Imani, faith, to believe with all our heart in our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. That, to me, is a message that it would be hard to reject if you're moral, progressive, and want the best for each people and the whole of humanity and the world itself. The well-being of the world is at stake here, and I think these principles speak to it.